Rock Climbing Grandma here. In this video, I am putting my new inflatable kayak into the water for the first time. And my good friend Dee, Dee, is gonna help me do it. Yes! I am so excited. If you're enjoying yourself and you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you're interested in more, I do a lot of climbing, hiking, and now paddling. Uh, just hit the subscribe button. All right, here we go. Version launch. <laughs> do not get water in your kayak as you put it in the water. <laughs> that wasn't so bad. Make sure you have your paddle somewhere. Get your seat set up, ready to go. Step in. Don't fall! <laughs> and I'm in! I'm ready! Let's go! My first GoPro water test ever. Let's see if this works. Ready? Now we're gonna learn how to actually get into a kayak from a dock because apparently that was wrong. I'm gonna be doing a lot of wrong stuff today. So don't take this as an instructional video. This is literally me learning stuff. Deester, she is a paddle boarder. She teaches and she competes and she's amazing. She's also a rock climber. She put two feet in, two feet in and then kneeled onto it. I like that and look how beautiful that was. All right, I gotta try that next time. All right, here we go. Whoop, whoop. So this is it. I am on the water in my new kayak. It's a beautiful first time ever kind of weather. It's, oh my God. I know I have to learn how to paddle and I know part of paddling is keeping your arms straight. So I was doing that for about like a quarter mile only. <laughs> and then my shoulder was like, what are you doing? And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna paddle like a noob now. So I'm gonna have to build up some shoulder and arm strength for this stuff, obviously. Oh my God, I'm out here, I'm doing it. Tracking is okay. I mean, it's not a hard shot. The boat is still wobbling back and forth with each stroke, but hey, it's an inflatable kayak that fits in my car and my closet, okay? Oh, and it's tandem. So I can have two people in my kayak right now. Are you out here? You're not out here, you gotta get out here. This is me in a boat. This is what I look like in a boat. Looks good on me, doesn't it? I think it does. Good color. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm trying something new. Up on my knees a little bit, actually. I'm uh, kneeling, sitting kneeling. Like this. Get up a little bit, see stuff. And I can get my body to do more of the work than my arms this way. That's good. Oh my God, I love this so much. <laughs> this is so beautiful. Okay, my toes hurt. <laughs> yeah, kneeling works for a little while. I just feel like I gotta be higher. If I get the hard floor, then I think it'll be less comfortable in terms of firmness, but it'll be more comfortable in terms of being able to sit. Oh, there's a fisherman over there. Fisherman on the water. Cast and hooks all day long. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. This is currently my preferred paddling position because feet out is just, no. You need more of a, I don't know. So this is my preferred <laughs> paddling position, cross-leggedness. <laughs> here we go. All right, so I'm looking at the floor here and it's uh, pretty comfortable. Um, a little squishy though, so it makes your legs go higher than where your body is. That's why I had to sit cross-legged. So I'm thinking um, there's gonna be other people in my kayak, like my son who likes to fish. And 
this floor right here. Not gonna be good for hooks and stuff. So I might have to get the covering that goes over top of that. It'll also accommodate for dogs with sharp claws. Question is, would it be comfortable to sit on? Well, I guess you could always get a cushion to sit on, right? So yeah, that might be my next thing for this kayak. Under the bridge. Swallows nesting up in here. They're flitting across the water. Look at that in there. I can definitely see where this would become exploratory for me because like I just want to get up in there and see what's there. Oh, berries. I could be out on a lake picking berries. Oh my gosh, the Mohican. The Mohican AMC Center has berries in the summer. I could go there and kayak and eat berries. Oh, wow. Okay, I have all these plans now, people. I don't know that you're very interested in them, but I don't know, it sounds really great to me. Berry picking and kayaking. Let's do it. Here come my friends. They went way farther than me. They're uh, paddle boarders. Here they come! Oh! Are we coming? <laughs> ah! Crushing! No! <laughs> Hi guys! Hello. Alright. Let's see if I can keep up with the super strong, competitive, uh, younger than me paddle boarders now. <laughs> so, Monksville Reservoir was made with the dam. And behind me here bunch of tree stumps. Apparently uh, they flooded the forest but they also flooded a town. If you look up Monksville Reservoir, apparently on really good days when the water is clear you can see the roads that are still under there and the buildings that are still under there. So right under me right now is a town that was flooded. That's kind of sad and kind of cool and kind of spooky all at the same time. All right, coming in for landing. Coming into the dock. For my virgin voyage of my inflatable kayak from Advanced Elements and uh, I'm gonna leave a link up top for how to inflate because I uh, when I took this kayak out the first time I did a video on how to inflate it uh, so yeah I enjoyed your company today and uh, thank you for stopping by and please hit the like button if you liked and if you want to see more hit the subscribe button uh, I will be doing more hiking climbing and kayaking as the season progresses and I upload I try and upload at least once a week all right guys have a great day whoop, whoop. I can already see one problem with water sports that white ashy skin that you see is all my climbing calluses leaving my body because of the water that's not good you can't lose your calluses you can't climb in I have to rethink this this is what the end of a day paddling should look like. Whoop whoop!